Hello, everyone. Uh, so far, we have talked about confidence interval uh, on the population mean, or the confidence interval on the difference between two population means. Now, let's have a look at how to uh, handle the or compute the confidence interval on the population variance sigma square. So, in this problem, uh, the following are the weights in decagrams of 10 packages of grass seeds, seed distributed by a certain company. So how many, uh, we got a 10 package grass seeds. So those are the weight, okay? So we got a 10 package. Find the 95% confidence interval for the variance of the weights of all such packages of grass seed distributed by this company, assuming a normal population. So when you go to the Lowe's or Home Depot, uh, buy the grass seeds, and you assume they are exactly the same amount, but they are always some kind of uh, a standard deviation or variance. If you marry to the degree that you can see there are uh, some variations in the weight. So the variance, confidence interval on the variance is actually you want to get the confidence of sigma square. And based on the discussion, the equations in the class, we have m minus one s square over chi square distribution. And uh, what is the uh, one minus alpha over two? And then degree of freedom is uh, m minus one and then greater than m minus one s square, then divided by chi square alpha over two n minus one. So now what we need to do is because, um, because in chi square distribution, mm, that's the, uh, look at the chi square distribution. So this is the chi-square distribution. So if we look at a chi-square alpha over two, n minus one is always uh, on the right-hand side and the one minus alpha. So this is alpha over two to the right. This is alpha over two. This is also alpha over two. But to the, to this boundary, all the way to the right, this will be one minus alpha over two. So that's why this location is chi square one minus alpha over two and minus one. So this value will be uh, smaller, so, but if you take the ratio, this whole thing will be uh, bigger. But this side will be smaller because this value is bigger. So now let's compute the uh, first, we were given the data. Now, 10 packages, right? So we need to calculate the sample variance. The sample variance is one over M minus one sigma I from one to N X I minus X bar square. So based on the equation, you can compute or you can use Excel to compute the sample variance. So this variance is actually S square equals to 0.286. To obtain the 95% confidence interval, 95, right? So 95% confidence interval. So 100, one minus alpha percent, this is equals to 95%. So alpha equals to 0.05 and alpha over two will be 0.025. So n equals to 10, m minus one equals to nine. So chi square, we need to find uh, 0 0.025 and then nine, which equals to, and we also need to find out chi square point nine seven five nine and this equals to okay 
Now let's first find this value first, 0 0.0259. And let's go to the chi-square table. Chi-square table. Where is the chi-square? This is T. Is this chi-square? Chi yeah, chi-square. Point uh, nine seven five. And then nine. So this is nine seven five, and we need to find nine, right? Nine. This will be nine, and this is two point seven. So if we go back, this will be two point seven zero zero. We also need to find uh, point zero oh two five. Go to the next page. Point zero to five chi square distribution. Point zero to five and then nine right here. It's nineteen point zero two three. So this will be nineteen point zero two three. So let's plug in those numbers. We will be able to get. Uh, so this is. Uh, n minus one is nine times s square point two eight six divided by alpha over two nineteen point zero two three less than sigma square less than nine times point two eight six divided by 2.7 so sigma square is less than 0 0.953 and then greater than 0 0.135 so this will be the confidence interval 95 percent confidence interval for the uh, population variance based on the sample data <laughs>